So if you're wanting to lean into the power of repurposing your video content for social media, you actually have to stop creating the videos inside the social media apps themselves and start creating them natively on your phone and editing them in CapCut. There are a ton of different reasons why I prefer using CapCut over a lot of the other video editing apps out there when I am editing that short form video content to post on multiple different platforms, both from a user perspective and as a content strategist because essentially we want to repurpose our content as effectively and efficiently as possible. So first let's dive into why you should be using CapCut. So if you're new around here and you haven't seen a lot of my other videos or follow me on social media, vast majority of my short form content actually gets pulled right from these YouTube videos. And I use a professional editing software for that. But if I'm just creating short form videos directly for Instagram, directly for TikTok, I have actually kind of switched my process recently. I have tried it all. I've tried like editing and creating inside of TikTok and using those random websites to like pull it off of TikTok without the watermark. And it ends up just being like really glitchy. The audio is not synced and the text looks so blurry. Since that methodology didn't work, I started recording natively on my iPhone. And then I would actually edit inside of InShot. And now InShot is such a great tool, not bashing InShot here, but I have found some like limitations with using InShot. It's such a good mobile editing app. If you're just starting out on like this video content creation journey, it's very, very user-friendly. But recently I've made the switch into CapCut. It's available both on iOS and Android devices, which I know is like a really big thing. I always hate it when I recommend an app or a software and it's not as accessible to all the different devices. I find that CapCut is still very user-friendly, but it has a lot more powerful video editing tools inside. And of course with CapCut, you get to lean into using their templates, which some of those are actually my most viral or most popular videos. You can actually create more advanced edits if you're kind of wanting to step up your content creation game when it comes to video. And you can even use CapCut on desktop, which is a huge plus for me because I don't always love editing on my phone. Sometimes it gets like way too small and I'm like, this is just way easier on a computer. So I have that ability to do so in CapCut. So I wanna give you a quick run through of how exactly I use CapCut to do some basic editing. So first, what you're actually gonna to wanna to do is open up a new project and scroll through until you find a video. I've got so much content in my phone and you can tap on it and before you import it, you can actually trim it if you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add the whole clip. Now, from here, I like to do a couple of different things. I will like tap and hold and scrub through the video just to kind of get a quick preview and also go ahead and delete that little end slide. I have exported the CapCut video so many different times that it has like their little logo at the end. So you're gonna wanna delete that. Um, but basically what you can do is you can tap on this video and you can start to trim it by just selecting that little end point and dragging over. And you can do the same thing over here. That's just some very basic editing. What I also like to do is anytime there's movement, I'll stop and split the clip. And then from there, you can take that and drag it. And you kind of create this fun little jump cut. This is something that I like to do a ton in my video editing, and you can repeat that process over and over again. So that's kind of how you do some trimming, some splitting and some editing. And then from there, you can see there are so many different things that you can do. But what I like to tap into the most is going to be as you're scrolling through here, there's like a cutout effect. Sometimes I'll do green screen. I love extracting audio. Um, like for instance, I'll do like a screen recording of a podcast and just rip the audio so I can have like a better imagery on top. There's so many different things, adjustments. So if like the lighting isn't that great, but it's pretty, pretty simple. And so that's the, when you tap on a video, you're gonna see all the different features that you have. When you tap out of it, you're gonna be able to see all of the other different tools that they have. So they have an audio feature. This is another reason why I love using CapCut is if you connect it with your TikTok, you can actually access your TikTok sounds. You can check the copyright, add effects. You can extract audio, record a voiceover. Um, and then from there, the next powerful thing that I love about CapCut is you can do like auto captions in here. You can add text and even this text, like if you go into, oops, let me go add add text here. You can actually make it look in that same style as um, that you would find on TikTok. So that system font, they have a couple others that look like the ones on TikTok, or you can upload your specific branded fonts in there. But this, you can come over here into style, and that looks just like the TikTok text. So you can still get the look and the feel by, while still editing inside of CapCut. And then again, so we've added some text. You can see that there's auto captions, things like that. 
There's overlays. I like to do this if I have like a little pop-up of an image in my video. You can, um, there's so many filters and effects. This is where you can change the ratio if you wanna have it in a different uh, format. You can change the background. So if you, uh, let's say, have a more cropped video and you want a different background, but there are so many different things that you can do inside of CapCut. So now that we've run through like the quick little basics of editing, I definitely recommend you dive in and not only play with it, but then look up different tutorials on YouTube or TikTok you have two options when it comes to editing your video. So you can actually do all of your video editing inside of CapCut, including adding the text and the captions or subtitles. And by doing it this way and having a completed video inside of CapCut, you can easily take that one video and upload it to all the different platforms. It can go on Instagram, it can go on TikTok, it can go on Shorts, it can go on a Pinterest bent. Like there's so many different places that you can take it and now post that video because it is ready to go. You edited the video once and it's gonna save you so much time and efficiency when you're wanting to post it in multiple different places. Or you have option two is editing all of the video but leaving out the text and the caption component. And this is typically what I like to lean into because now I have a blank canvas. I have a video that, yes, I have some jump cuts, I have some effects, I have some fun things, but there's no text on the screen. And I will export it without the text so that I can then take that video upload it to Instagram and use Instagram's fonts and captions and stickers. And then I can take that same video and upload it to TikTok and use their fonts and stickers and all their fun little things. And this makes it look like you natively posted it in those apps, but you only had to edit that video one time. And another bonus to this is without the text on the screen, you can save that video in your camera roll and use it and repurpose it later. You can add on to it. You can shorten it a little bit more, but if that text is on the screen, that's a little bit more difficult. Or let's say you wanna add different kind of text. You wanna add a new hook and test it out again a month down the road. You have that clean, crisp video without the text on the screen. There's no right or wrong option. It's just figuring out what works best for you. And now how do you actually repurpose this video that you edited in CapCut, how are you going to put it on multiple different platforms? My preference is to actually use a scheduling tool like Later or Planoly, or honestly, you can manually upload it into each of those different apps that you're using, or you can upload it into the different platforms that you show up on. It shouldn't take you too long, maybe a couple of minutes to just get those out and get them posted. But if you're wanting to learn how to use a social media scheduling tool, I definitely recommend Later. You can watch this tutorial right here, or check out Planoly, you can watch this tutorial right here. And if you're wanting to lean into a scheduling tool, it's gonna be best for you to create original content. So kind of staying away from the trends or the trending audio, because sometimes that's hard to use on multiple different platforms. And if you have copywritten music on your video, it's gonna be a little bit harder to repurpose that video. Let's say you create a video for TikTok and you have this really fun song and really fun sound and you try and take it off of TikTok and put it on Instagram, it's not always gonna work and could potentially have your video taken down because of copyright issues. So if you're wanting to post a trend, record it in CapCut without the sound, post it on TikTok, find the sound in TikTok, post it in Instagram, find the sound in Instagram, rather than trying to take it off of TikTok and post it on Instagram, that kind of thing. Trends can be a little bit trickier. But if you're doing like talking head videos just like I am right now, or if you lean into doing like tips and tricks or with text on the screen, anything like that is super easy to repurpose that one video across the multiple different platforms. So now you're equipped with the basic knowledge of how to use CapCut and use it efficiently so that you can create one video and post it across multiple different platforms. And if you're needing a little bit of help with content creation and content coaching each and every week, I definitely recommend you check out the Content Collective. Each week, via Via email, I actually send you five different content ideas with prompts and templates. I also give you a mini lesson, give you like a challenge to tackle that week, some different thought pieces, and you can even submit your questions to be coached on. When you join, you'll actually get access to me to help you with your content strategy each and every week. And you don't have to pay for an expensive coaching program and you don't need to pay for an overwhelming content creation like membership. So if you want more information, check out the link below and don't forget to hit subscribe.